What's good guys, welcome back. So it's the same day for me, but um, it'll be about a week's time for you guys. We're still here, um, it's late afternoon. We've got uh, six 185 parallels to put away, seven actually, uh, 185s to put away into the board. We've got some armoured, some 35 mil supplies to put away as well. So yeah, we're gonna be working into the evening, getting that done. Um, so I'm gonna show you, you know, getting the, the 185s onto the pads and all that sort of stuff. Before we get into the video, um, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Really, really supports the channel. Uh, you can also join the channel as well there'll be a big button below um, check that out if it's for you then uh, yeah by all means join the channel it'd be really really appreciated let's um, let's get into the video so this is where we're at I'm just about to get set up but um, yeah, we've got these six, uh, these three sets of two parallels to put away. I've got two neutrals to put onto here and an earth onto here. So I've got all the lugs in place because that really, really helps. And then you sort of size the cables up next to them. So I'm gonna start with the neutrals and the earths because they're getting tied in down here. And then we've got the, the three sets of parallels, um, which we'll do afterwards. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get the camera set up, get all the tools set up and start cracking on. Right, so let's get started with, I think I want to do the earth first, to be honest with you. I get them bent out of the way. Um, okay, right. Yeah, this one top. So strip from about there, cut about there. peeled off and then basically just going to tuck it into this lug so then I can make sure I'm happy with the way it's falling and what have you which I think I am yeah and then um, we just want to mark it basically like I showed in the other video and this is so that we know we got the right orientation on the lug, like so. So I'm gonna pop that out. I'm gonna get this off, which is because it's tight for some reason. Wait, this way, just because of the angle, actually. Yeah. There you go, mate. Yeah, go for it. Way to go yet, mate. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's not even half of it. Oh, there yeah. you go. Right, and then twist that handle. This or only twist one way. That's it. Then compress it again. That's it. There you go. Yeah. Right. 
pop them down, mate. Grab us some heat shrink as well. Yes. Uh, grab us all of it, mate. Mm -mm -mm. I hit the jackpot. I'm at the Mandalay. It's not the trap spot. Right, so we want about, yeah. Not that much. Get that bolted down, and that is our raft. So next up, we've got one of our two neutrals. So that one is sitting on top. So we're just going to get these tied down. So now we've got these neutrals. Which, nice and long. So I'm going to take a bit off the top just to make them a bit easier to work with. <laughs> Alright, mate. I then decided to do an update. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we're all safe in there, mate. Um, yeah. And then we just got our breaker off. Yeah. Because I'm still fucking around with these, yeah. unfortunately. You, I just need you to sign Yeah. That's why I'm alive away. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's taking a bit longer than we thought, but we had, um, we had to sort out a few bits in this panel, and we didn't really know until we had the cover off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I just need you to sign there. And again, there and there, please. That's all right, mate. Yeah. Uh, there you go, I'll get permission to oh. it, but I won't do anything until you. Uh, there you go, there you go. I won't do anything until I come in and see you. Yeah, sweet, no worries, right. mate.
coal. And while I'm here, I'm just going to do this other neutral as well. So, you can't really see because it's black on black, but they're lined through. Um, that one is a shorter lug. We've got a bit of a mix match, but this one's a longer one, so I'm actually going to double tap this one just because we've got the ability to do so. I'm going to do it down this end. So, yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll put them away onto the neutral bar. Just going to get them loose for now. We'll get them all talked up and all that funny business in a bit. Why did you put that line through the cable you're looking for? So that you know where it's sitting, because if you don't, then it might be sitting completely wrong rotation. Oh, and then you've got to try and twist it, and you're messing with your compression that you've done. And You can twist them, like if you put a screwdriver for it. Oh. What's happened? Oh, mate, no. leaking as well. I hope this isn't doing what I think it's done.
Oh my days. Pair of grips, mate. And you've got a penny washer as well. Oh, drama. So, I don't know if it's just me being a Wally yet, but the hydraulics seem to have gone, so with this one it's got that pin there is what releases the hydraulics um, so to release it it's got this button see how it misses there but then if you twist it it then pushes it down um, so it's not that because that's twisted the right way but it's just literally oh, let's come back to life <laughs> oh mate right i'm getting this done while i can Sometimes we all just need five minutes, Cam, don't we? He just needed a bit of time. Ga rush him, mate. That's what saying, like. Well, does he know what time it is? No, I don't think he does, mate. There's a lot of fluid in there, though. Not that big still. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's a hot day, isn't it? Maybe he's just a yeah, bit hot and bothered. Oh, do I dare release that? So as soon as you release, it's like the release is gone and then it needs to sort its life out. I wonder if Boise's got one. Mm. Yeah. Let's try again. It's going, but it ain't right. Also, how can you trust the crimp now? Do you know what I mean? And look, it's already it releasing it's releasing itself. itself. I did mess around with this. Man and grips. Sorry, mate. They have new ones, aren't they? Johnny for me mate. Let's cut this. Right, so this thing's at it. We've just been messing around for half hour trying to sort this out and source a new one. Luckily there's a guy local um, who we know from a different company is one of his lads gonna crap on from Oxford and then they're gonna drop it off to us so he only lives local which is mad so yeah I'm going to basically get all these sized up and wait for the crimper now um, and yeah just do it a bit back to front because we won't be lugging on until um, yeah, that turns up. So yeah, it's um, it's coming up to five o'clock, so it's going to be a long night, and it can. It is. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to uh, carry on cracking on.
Right, so these are all in. Only took half hour to be fair. Um, they've got to get crimped up yet, but they've all been marked, ready to be crimped. Um, that one needs another tap on the longer, longer crimp. They look pretty sweet, to be honest with you. They're all pretty uniform, bar this one on L1. So they're the same length, but the sweep just starts slightly different. It dips down, but then it's a tighter bend here as the other one. You can see curves around the back a bit more. So I'm hoping, just because I've got OCD, once the lug, they're lugged on, I can um, get them bolted down and persuade them a bit more. But um, to be fair, they're pretty, they're pretty tidy. Um, they look pretty, pretty nice. Um, so yeah, when they're lugged on, we'll then get a heat shrink over them, get the heat shrink done. Then we've got these two 35s to put away. So they're gonna come down here along and back up. Um, saying that, they're not. So earlier we realized even with the length that we got out of this panel, so we've literally cut nothing off of them. They're still just a little bit too long to go that way round. So unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to bang two 50 mil bushes um, up there and come round the top and then into the CTs and then just to save going around the houses and losing all that slack. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that. We'll start prepping that. I'll probably drill the holes. I don't think I've got the bushes. So yeah, they might get left out till tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but yeah, hopefully this crimper turns up soon and we start lugging these on, then it's pretty much there. Um, there's not a lot else we can do. Cam's just gonna sort this out. So we did this torpedo yesterday. So he's gonna tie wrap this down onto here a lot nicer, cleat that cable round, cleat it around the back here. And then we're probably gonna try and gland it in, say there. Um, but yeah, we'll just see, see how far we get with it. He's got a bit of cleating to do in quite an awkward space all under here. Um, we need to have a massive tidy up as well because there's tools everywhere. It's all a bit, it's all a bit crazy. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Right, so these aren't long enough, like I say, to be taken round. We've got loads of repair to do. None of this was us, to be fair. Um, but yeah, um, they're going to get sent through here. So I didn't have these bushes, but I'm going to get the two that I put in up here because we can do this bit tomorrow. Um, and then at least I can get these feeds through and get them made off and we're still moving then. And then I can just leave this little isolate. That's just an in and out from a breaker and that cable that Cam's doing. So that one can just get left out, but these can actually get put away and we start moving on them. So I'm gonna do that now. Bosch two holes through there, nick these, and then, um, yeah, have the gaze. Yeah, tomorrow. Cause whoever, we're getting this one off. They need they need their one back yeah. tomorrow. So we've got to drop it off tonight and then I need to put these 35s away tomorrow. So yeah, the plot thickens. Can you just make sure you're not going to drill through your cables? Yeah. <sighs> the sheer tops. Uh, I mean, they look like they've been drilled through anyway. <laughs> yeah, you've got a proper drill or a proper battery. Yeah, you've got a proper drill for the top. Alright, man. That's the only bit of Milwaukee gear that I will admit is pants. I need to get an 18 volt drill to me, yeah. This is a big boy one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is the one I used to have before it fell out of the van. Before it came to the red side. Awesome. Dancing in the middle of the club, can't dancing in the middle of the club. I wish I was dancing in the middle of the club right now. No. Let's make sure we're in the shot. Well, I've been using that Milwaukee thing. <laughs> nice one, brother. Side. So, um, I had two of these already. I had the 25 
and the 20 mil. Um, but the guy who makes them, um, he's a legend. He's a Sparks, actually. He sent me out this kit. So this is the 20 to 50 mil set, the bush socket, brocket. Uh, you can get them from Amazon. Check out their Instagram and all that sort of stuff too. I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, they're wicked for bushes. I'll show you in action. But yeah, these are the new ones. So you've got 32, 40 and, uh, sorry, 30... 32, 38, and 50. Because, um, yeah, that's the size his bushes come in. But, yeah, these ones are three eighths, um, and then those ones are quarter inch. So, yeah, going to get that in the um, in the Weirra Zyclops, and, yeah, we'll tighten up these bushes. I'll show you in, in use. Oh. Basically, it's like a socket made for bushes, hence the name. Yeah, you just get them real, real tight until they pop. But yeah, I've never had tight bushes. <laughs> nah, but honestly, you're normally chewing them up with grips and all sorts. Is that just, yeah, sorts it right out. Done. Cool. So now one of these is real bad, so that one's treating. So I'm going to heat shrink this cable up and just protect it where it's been damaged. And then, um, yeah, we'll get them through these holes and, and in and into the breakers. Because this thing's a fucking death rack inside it. Oh really? Yeah, it's all um, exposed buzz bar and that. Um, we had it all off earlier, didn't we? It might have a picture. But um, yeah, so you want to work in it, you've got to get UK KPN to come and isolate it. Oh fucking hell, All really? darts with death, but yeah, yeah, it's proper bad in there. People were um, cutting the cables at the MCCBs and just leaving little stubs in with the breakers off because they didn't want to take the cover off. But what was it, 600 it? quid or so to get them out? Yeah. What's that? 600 bit to get the UK? Yeah, just to turn it on just and to off. Turn it on and off. So all that's just going to be redundant now then? Yeah, there's this supply going to the next door, which yeah. is nothing to do with us. And then, yeah, we've just refed this, diverted everything through it. Nice job, yeah, it's alright. Um, you here all night, eh? Oh, fuck it out. <laughs> so even you turn it off, even that's all fucking live. That mate. middle panel comes off so you can't even just you open these doors you must do fuck all the breakers because they're set in it's amazing how that how they yeah yeah stuff, <laughs> all right boys yeah oh i better give you my um yeah your address mate address yeah it's not it's only five minutes down yeah yeah that's fine sure. mate um where's i'll tell you what i've got I was the crimper out as well you. mate sorry just so i know where it is did you 
give to him? Oh, fuck me. Oh, gut busters. Love it. <laughs> oh, mate, this is probably, I'd say this is, this is so old, but it's... Yeah, it it's won't fail though, will it? That'll no, last forever, mate. Absolutely yeah, yeah. last forever. Yeah, that's just, that's you, only a month old, that thing. Yeah. Shocking shy, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, yeah, it's old fashioned, but. I'll get cams on. You know right? how they work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Um, yeah, what's your, what's your um, thing, mate? Yeah, it's 16. Yeah. yeah. Cool. What do you drink, mate? I'll get you. Oh, you sure? Uh, yeah, don't worry about <laughs> All right, we owe you yeah. one. Johnny owes me one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice one, mate. Cheers. Right, so the gut busters are here. So we just need to set that in. Oh, bless him. Oh, bless him. Mate. Thirty-five, twenty-five, one twenty, ninety-five, seventy, ten, sixteen, fifty, thirty-five, twenty-five, one twenty. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, <laughs> oh, We're never getting out of here. I can't remember which number it is. That one you called once? Yeah. Do you know what he was saying that? I don't think you can get you can get gut busters that go up to 185 because it's too big. Oh, me. Hello? Hello mate, you're right. Um, yeah, sorry to bother you, I know you're away. Yeah, I just wanted to, um, yeah. In a nightclub? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, mate. Um, so, mate, you boys come drop them crimpers off. Real nice guy. They only got up to 120, mate. <laughs> you could have made that. Nah, they're gut busters. You know the ones that are non hydraulic? And they right. And they are, yeah, they're, mate, I've tried it. I did try it. They don't. They just. You can't even get them around the crimp. Well, I've got access to two more sets now, three. Okay, are we. What do you want to do? Because we're easy, mate. Like, we're here for the long run now. But what are you saying? Do you, do you, do you reckon you'll be able to get them tonight? Or. Right. Um, nah. Yeah, he, he literally just showed me them and everything, and then as he's drove off, I've I've spun them round because I'm like, oh, they're set to 120. Spun them round. That's a maximum. But I think when you get that big, they have to be hydraulics anyway. I think. I, I've never known a pair of, like the normal ones. You know, like Stoey, so you just squeeze them. I don't, I've, never, I've never, never seen him go that high, but yeah, do you want to send me Brooksy's number, mate, and I'll stop bothering you? What, are you going to go to Kevin's night and do it in the morning? I have to put him away in the morning, yeah, mate. What, what's, the, what's left for tomorrow? Put, put, the, put the lugs on. Mate, they're all done, so the cables are sat in the lugs, and the lugs are bolted down, so they're all... Stuff the crimp and screw on. Yeah, they're all cut to length, they're all stripped, Dang. they're everything, do you know what I mean? Like, we're... <laughs> We're like ready to go. And then I've managed to nick two 50 mil bushes from this isolator so I can get these two f feeds in. I'm just heat shrinking them again. This is, Cam, shut up. Good. Where we pulled them out. Okay, that... faster, we are completely done, apart from banging this fucking SPD in. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I, I'm gonna look when, I get, when we get packed up and we know what's left, I might just see if I can maybe get another lad. Just a lad, mate. Just because the tidying up, the labelling, the running around. I, I could have someone picking up all the rubbish and getting it into one place for half a day. And hey, Jamie. Yeah? Hang on. Sorry, Dave. No, shit. Hang on. Cam, it's raining. Do you want to get all the bits in? Um... Put stuff in the van if it's easier. That crimper can go. <laughs> can you just have Jamie for a few hours in the morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally just little things like all the, you know, all the rubbish you were like, I'll get all moved here and moved there. You know, all that stuff I'm not really accounting for. So that's going to take time. Do you know what I mean? 
it's a clear insight. I've got to meet him, so I'm going to be lost for an hour going around with James. I've got a test, label, put these away. <laughs> and do you know what I mean? So. Right, my fancy road mic. Right. My fancy road mic has died, so we're back on old school. So I apologise for the audio quality. These ones are sweet. Okay, okay. Where's them little tie wraps, mate? Hello, mate. Yeah, Rusty has gone. Yeah. 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 Okay, mate. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. It's no drama if not, mate. It's like, do you know what I mean? But... Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, cool. Alright, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Right, so this is where we're at. Um, they're in, tie wrap just to the air vents. I'm gonna cut the tires later, but I'm just gonna let them get set in their ways overnight. Tied down, we've got the air some neutrals in. Um, I'm just about to start putting away these into the MCCBs and then we're gonna call it a day just cause it's coming up to eight o'clock. Um, we've got to come in early to get a crimper in the morning off someone, off of another Sparks that we know. Um, get these crimped up heat shrinked um, we've got to get this armoured boshed into the bottom that's got to go through this isolator and then through there um, and yeah just loads of other bits I've pulled my sticky pads off and yeah just rushing basically so we're doing more damage than good in some ways um, but yeah I'm going to get these torqued up put away looking quite sweet and then um, yeah we'll call it a day I'll probably catch up with you guys in the morning good morning proper sleeping mic so I do apologise but um, yeah oh, I'm so tired um, we got away got home about 9 o'clock last night it's now 6 o'clock I'm back got in early um, Cam's going to be here in about an hour he's just got to grab that crimper and we've got another lad coming at 7 as well um, just to help tidy up and, and all the other little finishing bits um, but yeah for now I'm going to be getting this 35mm in get it put away into that isolator and all that sort of stuff um, and then yeah I'll probably catch up with you guys once the crimp is here so I can show you these finally getting lugged up heat shrinked and put away um, and then yeah the board should be pretty much there as well so yeah I'll catch you in a sec 
this is a real, real cheap uh, Chinesium crimper that we're working with. Um, but it is all we've got, unfortunately. So, how does it go up to? go there we go and let's get this pin back in right hydraulics are on Does a job. Does a job. Okay. Right, so now let's get started on these. So I need 19. So I'm going to try do these in situ. What's nice about this one is although it's cheap, it's actually quite light and nice to use, but yeah. Don't go too much, damage the lugs.
these just need pulling, they're in pairs of two. So we just want to do the, uh, yeah, do the bottom ones first, so the worst. Keep going, keep going, quite a bit. That's it. Again, bro. Sixty, cool. Um, so that do these ones now. Cool, there we have it. Ready to go. Right, we'll get a cover on and then we're fucking getting somewhere. Sweet. Right guys, so that is us all done here. Panels live, all put away. I would have loved to have shown you more, but it just descended into chaos basically. Um, but yeah, we're gonna wrap this one up at the unit. So I'm gonna do a, a separate outro just to explain what went on, where we got to, and yeah, why it sort of descended into chaos. But yeah, we just needed to get it done. It's four o'clock on a Friday. I've got to be at a meal as well. I should have left about an hour ago. So yeah, just rushing to get out of here. But I'll catch up with you guys back at Loadout HQ in a little bit. Right, so it's been about a week since the last clip because um, it's going to get tagged onto that video. Um, so we left in a massive rush. We had loads on. Um, it was yeah, we had dramas as well because I connected up something wrong. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but yeah, we're all done. Um, I'm just packing up. The other guys have left. I just wanted to get some footage of this all done now. Um, but yeah, so in this panel, um, I connected up the supply to the steelworks wrong. So on the left hand side it's L1, L2, L3 top to bottom, on the right hand side it's backwards, it's L1, L2, L3 from the bottom to the top. 
um, and in my haste messing around some of you might have noticed it so yeah if you're in the comments give me a hard time you might have noticed it or in the last video um, yeah but I connected them up wrong so we had to get UKPM back out isolate change it round loads of dramas a very expensive mistake that I won't be doing again um, but you learn you know I'm probably showing my experience here but yeah you learn man and I've never worked in a panel like this it's an older panel um, I've never worked in a panel where they changed the rotation um, on the other side and stuff so very strange for me but yeah I still made the mistake and it was connected up right the first time I just put it back around the wrong way when I redid the CTs and stuff um, so obviously I connected up the phases in the CTs the wrong way round um, but the I's and the K's were still not right um, even though I swapped the phases round to the wrong rotation and I redid all that um, the I's and the K's were still wrong so they're all right now the phases are all right now and we're done in there that's all labeled up and then today we've labeled up we've done a load of testing I've had the lappy out um, just testing on easy cert first time using it on the laptop and it's quite good so shout out to easy cert um, yeah we put this SPD in um, that just runs down it's on a 160 amp breaker 25 mil tails all specced by Hager um, all to their design with the you know the supply and all that sort of stuff um, and we've got some 35 mil tails to just go into this isolator as well so that's all done and we've got the fuses for that isolator too what's funny is the reason we have a 63 amp breaker and then some 63 amp fuses in there is because the bs88s have a higher tolerance um, when we tested it it was 0.89 um, now we've livened it up we've bonded the steel work in that unit and stuff it's now tested out under live conditions doing a live test at 0.60 so it would actually pass on this which is which is annoying um, you know it would have just been okay on this breaker but yeah we put that in because when we dead tested it when we validated it wouldn't have passed so you know um, but yeah living and learning um, probably could have done with a bit more time um, I had nothing but apprentices apart from that day my brother was here so I probably could have done with a sparky on the main day if my brother was here he would have told me that it changes because he noticed it but I didn't um, he only noticed it because he swapped like for like so he copied the rotation and and tested it afterwards and it was okay but yeah there's no labeling or nothing in that panel to tell you it changes um, and obviously the buzz bar must come down and alter so that's interesting but yeah it's just an old old crap panel basically but um yeah we are we are done i've calibrated all the meters set the ct ratios on the primaries and stuff so they're all working we're fully tested up and it's sweet so um yeah i'm going to get the board cover on that's all labelled now as well, um, all labelled up and uh, yeah I'm going to get out of here, I've just got to run through some of the other units, crank everything on, uh, our responsibility stops at some isolators we've put in, so apart from unit 3 which you saw in the other videos, all the other units we've just put in an isolator and um, he doesn't want to, the client doesn't want to go there yet with the ICRs and stuff so we've just put in an isolator, leaving it off um, and then um, well, we're going to crank it on and leave the supply to the board off and then he's probably going to turn it on um, but yeah we're going to come back do some ERCRs and there's no emergency lighting as well everyone's at me in the comments um, it, emergency lighting you have to have it of course you know it's a, it's a requirement but it's a requirement that needs to be fulfilled by the duty holder by the landlord so we can't force him to put emergency lighting in at the end of the day and he don't want to pay for it um, because we're going to look at doing emergency lighting as a whole not just in unit three not just in here we're going to be doing it throughout all of the units so that's why we didn't do it in that other unit everyone's saying oh you didn't fit it that's wrong well we can't force someone to pay for it and it lies with the duty holder and we're electricians, we certify our work and we certificate emergency lighting, but if the client, who is the duty holder, the landlord, if he doesn't want to pay for it, then you know that's his problem. So yeah, um, but thanks for watching. Um, it's been a bit of a flitty video between the crimper and all the other drama. I mean, it was a week ago now, so I've been on another job up at uh, an RAF base, so it's all a distant memory now, but um, yeah it's um it's been an interesting video and you didn't get shown much just because you have to crack on um but i hope you found a lot of insight in the video and i hope you found it interesting um i'm waffling on way too long now so i'm just going to leave it here 
Um, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Um, you can join the channel as well. I keep mentioning that even though I said I wouldn't, so I'm going to stop doing that as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next Sunday at 6 o'clock um, on another job. We'll see where we're at. Um, I've got about six videos in the bank, so although you're watching this now, it's probably been about a good month since I've actually been here um, in real life when you're watching this video. But yeah, hopefully I'll be somewhere else showing you something cool. Um, so yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.